I am here. Listen to this. This this guy is calling me a coward. I'm standing in front of four cops with guns, and they're calling me a coward. You cannot have that weapon away. This is not this is not a weapon. This this is not a weapon. It can't. Look what they're doing. I'm in court here. And look what they're doing. They're escal- they escalated again. And you went hands on again with me. You went hands on again with me. You need to calm down. You escalated. You and you escalated this. No, I told you. Calm down. You both escalated this. I'm having a conversation with you. You're not going back to court. You can have that on my face all you want. That is not going in the courtroom. Your camera can- this comes with me. You see what this says here? You see what I'm, not, says here? I'm not recording in the court. Back. You need to step back. I'm not rec- t- don't step touch back, me. Step back. Don't touch me. Look, look at who's here. Marino, put that back Barkley, car. Barkley, the guy so who attempts to murder people. Back, you want. Anything you want to bring. Period. End of story. What a coward. Look at this coward. This is the guy who went hands on illegally is- when I was in the village courtroom. You could use your words all you want about cowards. Yeah. It's called, it's called truth. I give truth. I give truth to all of you. You're all acting like cowards because they are afraid of a tripod. They are afraid of a tripod. Step back for a minute. Step back for a minute. Hey, pork rind, step back. You don't care about the truth. You know, there. You know, you know. I want to go in front of him right now. I want to go in front of the judge right now. With, with, with my personal effects. Not happening. So you're going to go into the courtroom and deal with the judge? Could you, you call us a coward? Go deal with the judge. You're a coward. Deal with your son. Excuse me. I was here and you illegally removed me from the courtroom last time and lied about it. Asked, did, did I? Was I making a disturbance in court? By law and tell me the law. What did you remove me from the legal courtroom? Shut up. No. Shut up, asshole. No. Watch what happened when I went to see the judge about the retaliatory ticket that I was given by Officer Kenneth Baker. It is insane what happened. First, something very mysterious happens. Is the Friday before my my hearing, I get this mysterious email from the judge. I think he's 80 year old. Judge Thomas Costello, who should have retired about 80 years ago, and he demands that I come one hour before the public court is in session. Starts at 6 o'clock. He wants me to get there at 5 o'clock. And, of course, I have to go, and if I don't, they will put a warrant for my arrest. He would, and I would be kidnapped and put into a cage. I'm like, what's going on here? Is this a setup? I get to the courtroom. Actually, to the not to the courtroom. I get... I get to the village hall, and there's a lobby now, there. Look at what they're trying to do here. Four police officers waiting for yours truly, Leroy Truth, in an attempt to intimidate me, in, to, in an attempt to create a culture and an atmosphere of intimidation. But I will not be intimidated. I will not back down from my freedoms, from my right to redress the government, from my right for a fair hearing and trial, for my right to express myself as is guaranteed by the First Amendment. And as I came into the lobby, I went through a metal detector and I brought my tripod with me, this small eight ounce carbon fiber, super light tripod for my phone. So that after the hearing, I was going to create a video outside of the village hall and create a video for my YouTube channel. However, Officer Robert Barkley freaked out when he saw my tripod because they were looking for something to get me on, to stop me from going to court, to arrest me on. And he starts freaking out and yelling at me saying, I cannot bring my tripod in to the courtroom because it could be used as a weapon or it is a weapon. And all the other police officers escalated that, including Officer Larry Burke, who is supposed to de-escalate, he's supposed to tell Robert Barkley, stop, stop, stop. Instead, Robert Barkley went hands on with me, initially grabbed my tripod. I wasn't recording yet, but about 30 seconds after that, I started recording. And this is what happened after that. Put in the comments what your opinion is of this. Also, I'm not telling you to redress the government and you shouldn't contact the only Facebook page that exists since Mayor Foley blocked all the other ones, the Village of Cold Spring Chamber of Commerce Facebook page is the only one I've seen comments on. I'm not telling you to do that, but someone told me that's the only place that comments can be left in regards to this. Watch this. Don't redress the government. Subscribe to my channel. I want to hear your comments.
anything else. Look at you what they're trying to do that. here. You cannot have that. Take a weapon away. This is not. This is not a weapon. weapon away. This, yes. this is not a weapon. It can look at what they're doing. Weapon. I'm in court here. And, and look what they're doing. They're escalate, they escalated again. Car, and you went hands on again with me. Listen, you went hands on again with me. You need, need to calm down. You escalated it. You and you escalated this. No, I told you. Calm down. I'm you, having a conversation. You both escalated this. I'm having a conversation with you. You're not going back to court. You can have that on my face all you want. That is not going in the courtroom. And Your camera can... This comes with me. No, no, you see what this says here? Do you see what I'm this not, says here? I'm not recording in the court. You need to step back. You need to I'm not rec- back. Don't touch step me. Back, step back. Don't touch me. Look, look at who's there. Now, Marino, put that back Barkley, car. Barkley, the guy so who attempts to murder people. Back, this guy who back. hired Kenneth Baker. Take, take a step back. back. Please step back. He went sir, hands on again. Sir, you can go back take a step car. back. If you don't take a step back, I'm going to have to go hands on because I'm asking you to please take a step Why? back. Why? Because I want you to see this on the wall. I want you to see this and I want you to record that with your phone like you record. No, you're not going to tell me what to do. Right here. You're not going to. No filming past this point. Here I I am. Look look where I am. Right here. Again, again, what you're doing is. You you escalated this. I have a right to bring this with me. You always ask for an honest conversation. I'm having one with you. You refuse to film. You've never been honest with me. I asked you to film this here. It says no filming and you will not do it. Because why? Because you're going to go and cut that up in your your house and you're going to put all sorts of different things that we say. I'm being honest with you. I am not filming past this point but you went hands on with me you cannot take something in that could be used as a weapon in a court you are so you are such a coward each of you are such cowards you are such coward this is you are the poster child for untreated mental illness now you can take this is coming this is literally coming from freud's first experiment and or and someone who has the Oedipus you will complex not be entering the courtroom. No, period. End of story. There is no law that says I can't bring this. This is you are claiming it's a weapon because you're afraid. It can be. I didn't say it is not a weapon. He said it was a weapon. Used as a weapon. It is not. Are you that afraid? You've got guns. And and, and, and and so forth. This is not a weapon. This is a tripod. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. You can take your. You can take your. There is no, there is no law. Or you're not entering the court. That's all there is. There is no law. I'm I'm surprised you can put even a few words together in a sentence. This is a tripod. I have a right to bring this with me. You do not. You have no Are right. You, entering court? you have yes no, no right to that's say it. that's a weapon or not. This Amen. is a tripod. Look, at, they are afraid of this, ladies and gentlemen. These ladies cops gentlemen, are changing afraid. Words again. So they are afraid is, he's of a tripod. Again. Look, at, they are afraid of a tripod. Did not say it was a weapon. You can possibly use that as a weapon. That's what we're stating. So it is a tripod. In, either you walk in and deal with your courtroom and, then, and, and with your summons. That is not going into the courtroom. This okay. is a tripod. I have a right to bring this with me. Show me the law or the statute that says I can't bring this in here. Show me the law or the statute says that I can't. I don't need a law that says that I can bring a personal item with me into a courtroom. No. Oh, there are personal items. Items. You can put any personal item in that you want. Like, anything you want to bring. Period. End of story. What a coward. Look at this coward. And this is the guy who went hands on illegally is, when I was in the village courtroom. You can use your words all yes. you want about cowards. And you can yeah, try to it's called, you. You can try it's to called truth. You. No. I give truth. I'm giving you truth. No, you I don't. give truth to all of you. Lie. You're all acting like cowards because they are afraid of a tripod. They are afraid of a tripod. Step back for a minute. Step back for a minute. Hey, Cork Ryan, step back. Again, they're afraid there, of this. There you go with the word. The, with the words again. That's really intense. It's called First Amendment. No, it's called being. He went hands on me. Robert Barkley, the person who attempted to murder someone when he was an NYPD officer. That has nothing he, to do what we're talking oh, about. Oh, I'm going to FOIA request. Look at this guy. He's got nothing, a personal phone. That has nothing to do with today. I'm going to FOIA request that. That is nothing what we're doing with today. I'm going to FOIA request I'm dealing with you right you, now. He went I'm hands on. I'm dealing with you right now, one on one. I want to so go to the court and go to the judge. Stop being a coward, okay? Lower your voice. De escalate. No, de escalate. Fine, I de escalate it. Okay? So now we can talk. Oh, he went hands on to start this whole thing. Not bringing that into yeah. the courtroom. You're not allowed to bring hide behind your phone. So. This is not hiding behind a phone, yeah. Park Ryan. Oh, that's very nice. You're so this is intelli- called reporting so the truth. Intelli- I want you to put this on your videos. You're so intelligent that you got to go with Paul Crime on a police. It's called officer, the First Amendment. On a, on a police officer who goes out there and he protects the public with his own life. Oh, he harasses. He harasses the public. No, no you harassed the public with that, with that. You part. took me out that's illegally from the judge's courtroom no, when I was here, I, ready I right. to go in front of the judge. I had a right to do that. For what? I had a right you tell to me do that. And I already told you why. No, I want you to tell me. Was there a disturbance inside the court? Was there a disturbance inside the court that I did? I told you already. I'm not going to repeat myself. No, you need to repeat it because I was out here and I was sitting there honestly and and respectfully. No, look look at how condescending this piece of crap is. Oh, now I'm a piece of crap. Okay, it's fine. Good. I hope that can make your video. Look at this. Look at this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, do you know why he's here without it? Or are you going to... Do you know, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to put this on too. Do you know why you're here? For a summons. 
a one summons for an illegal use of a cell phone, and you're going through all a retaliatory stuff, ticket. He is a liar. Then you deal with That's what I came in before yeah. Robert Barkley went hands on with me. You are continuing to escalate. He went hands on with me. He started all this, and then you picked up on it. Here's your choice: you go in and talk to the judge without your tripod, or you leave. There, the there is tripod. nothing that says I can't bring my tripod I'm with me. I'm telling you as a professional police officer. I'm with telling me. you as a professional police officer. That can be, can be used as a weapon. Something. What a coward. And, and see how they like to put anything as a weapon. You can call me whatever you want. Are you done? You're going to deal with the, you're you're deal with the judge. You're either answering or you're not. Plain and simple. I want to bring my personal item not with me. No. Not happy. You can lock it up in your car and you can come in and see the judge. Other than that, it's not going to court. Can you believe these... These so-called cops, they are afraid of a tripod. Look at this. A carbon fiber tripod. That's correct. Weighs about now, eight ounces. You can, you can either exit or you can enter the courtroom without it. What choice are you making? And also that you're still protecting Baker. And what? I got a retaliatory sir, ticket that has everything to do with it. Are you entering the courtroom or not? I, I am, I, I'm going to talk to you. You're an idiot. Your car, you, you have less brain car, cells than my toenail jam. You are mental you illness. Guilt. That's what you are. No, that's called a cop. A police officer actually is a person are, who has untreated mental illness. You are untreated mental illness. Every, almost every police child. officer has you are mental illness. Child. You're a sociopath. According to a Seattle University study, Police officers suffer from undiagnosed and untreated mental health issues at alarming rates. Despite mental health services being offered by most departments, officers methodically avoid using them. And as someone one time said, do cops become sociopaths or do sociopaths become cops? And here's one Officer Barkley who almost unalived a man and tortured a man as documented in a criminal settlement. It's the pot calling the kettle black and i have your record oh, in in the settlement that you almost murdered a man you talk about mental illness i didn't beat the luck. shit out of an innocent good man luck. good luck and you beat and the shit out of an innocent man and, 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 oh, almost you you it's, are it's online it is online no no no, no, no not at all it is in a court settlement document not at all yes not it is not at all not at all no settlement there you go lying oh, again no nope. larry truth take your telescoping magnet whatever that thing and, is and look put it in your this car low iq or leave piece of smack he called me Larry Truth can't even get my name Larry right Larry the Liar that's what I call it well we can call you Larry that's all Lexican you the Truth or Leon the Truth or whichever you go by with all your pseudonyms well, and you're definitely five I, six different I want to come with my personal not, effect you're not into going here. in there it's not we're going not in entering there. the courtroom you could stand here and go all night long it's not going to happen you go in and deal with your summons, which this is all over. I want to deal it right. This is with a summons. I want to deal it right. A retaliatory summons. Is summons. It is it's called. Here. Summons. We're not even it's here. Do you, see, do you see these people? For a summons. It is here for, for a retaliatory summons. Untreated. It's not a retaliatory summons. You got a summons for being on a cell phone in your car. So now I want you to deal with that instead of bringing up all this stuff that no. you've been bringing up since March. See how the blue like line gang, see how March. thick the blue line gang is? Yes. See how thick the blue line gang is? You don't care about the truth. You know, Larry, you know, you know. I want to go in front of him right now. I want to go in front of the judge right now. With, with, with my personal effects. Not happening. So you're going to go into the courtroom and deal with the judge. Because you, you call us a coward? Go deal with the judge. You're a coward. Deal with your summons. Excuse me. I was here and you illegally removed me from the courtroom last time and lied about it. I did it by, did, by law. Did I? I did it by was law. I making a disturbance in court? I did it by law. So. By law, and tell me the law. I did it by law. What, what did you, you remove me from the legal court courtroom? Shut up. No, Shut up, asshole. You're a coward. Shut up, asshole. You're a coward. I am here. You're a coward. I, listen to this. This this guy is calling me a coward. I'm standing in front of four cops with guns, and they're calling me a coward. Untreated. Watch where your fingers are. You're in my you're, personal space. Watch. You're the one that came up to me here. I'm standing here. I haven't moved. I have not moved. Back up and get out of my personal space right now. No, okay. no I want to go into court. I have a right to go into you the can. court. You need to step aside then. With, without the tripod, you go right. Go. Fact. Mayor Kathleen Foley of the village of Cold Spring, New York, is incompetent and looks like may be part of a cover-up, protecting sadistic, aggressive, documented police officer Kenneth Baker, ex-NYPD, badge number 5651. Look him up on 50-a.org, the website. He has at least eight settlements, over $300,000 of settlements paid out by the NYPD, by the taxpayers, actually, of extreme police brutality. Yet he is walking and working and policing and terrifying the residents, the business owners, and the visitors of the village of Cold Spring, New York. 
Is it his fault at this point? Well, it is because he's doing it. However, it is also equally Mayor Kathleen Foley's and the Village Board of Trustees' fault as well. They are as culpable and as responsible for Kenneth Baker's behaviors as a police officer because he is still employed as a police officer when I told point blank the Village of Cold Spring Board and Mayor Kathleen Foley during a Village Board meeting. However, did they receive my information with gratitude and thank me for revealing this vicious predator amongst this beautiful village? No. Mayor Foley kept interrupting me, being rude, condescending. The entire board was disgusting and despicable in their lack of care for the actual facts that I was laying down upon them. Ladies and gentlemen of the village of Cold Spring, you have three minutes. Start the time, please. I stand before you today. I'm sorry, how, you excuse me, how rude you Excuse me, sir. No, no, how I rude neglected, you are. I neglected. Now you're giving a, a You have three limit. minutes. That's right. And it's on the agenda. There's a three minute limit. Ladies and gentlemen of the village of Cold Spring, and all the board members here, you know who I am. Mayor Foley, you know who I am as well. I stand before you today with a heavy heart, echoing the cries of the village of this Cold Spring community. Our beautiful, serene village, so you known for its warmth and hus hospitality, has had a dark shadow cast upon it for the last four years by a violent, brutal, and aggressive predator, Officer Kenneth Baker. Don't interrupt me again. From local business owners yeah. to tourists. Instead, what did Mayor Foley do? Did she say, whoa, whoa, we got to look into this immediately, and if it's true, we will immediately terminate Officer Kenneth Baker. No, they did not do that. Instead, Mayor Kathleen Foley, the incompetent witch that she is, had me thrown out by a police officer named Robert Barkley, who went hands-on with me to take me out of the village co board Cold Spring meeting. And Robert Barkley is no Mother Teresa either. And he, you look in his record, Robert Barkley on www.50-a.org, and it is insane what he did. Oh my God, he was responsible for almost murdering a man. Yet he was also hired by this very mayor. And I have a surprise for you, not a good one. Did you know that Kathleen Foley, Mayor Kathleen Foley is running for re-election in approximately three weeks, unopposed. So for any Village of Cold Spring residents seeing this, your, your village, you got to you know, live with what you vote because you get what you vote for. My recommendation is do not under any circumstances allow her to be mayor in your beautiful village for one additional second. Oh, she cares, some people say. She really cares about the village. Yeah, right. She cares so much that she has continued, even after she's known about Kenneth Baker for four years since he was hired of his, not just his past, but his current behaviors. And you know what? I did a freedom of information request to get all the complaints against Kenneth Baker since he started four years ago at the village of Cold Spring. And guess what? Cover up, cover up, cover up. 